the next one I'm going to do is the creation of a 60 degree angle. Now, I'm going to attempt to demonstrate something that doesn't always work, but you may have tried this at some point. Draw a circle, pick any point on the circle, and step off arcs of the same radius, the same distance you've used for the radius, around the circle. One, two, three, four, no, five, and six, and perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. The compass is fitting six times. So if I were to join the centre to each of the points on the outside, and the opposite ones should just about match up, the angle between each of these points should be one sixth of a circle. And a whole circle we are taking as 360 degrees. So the angle between each of these points is 60 degrees. And that's the fundamental thing I use to construct an angle of 60 degrees. Instead of starting with a circle, I'm going to start with a, a line and mark off one point where I'd like to start my angle. So I'm going to start my angle of 60 degrees from there. So I'm not going to draw a whole circle but I'm going to draw a circle big enough, an arc big enough for one step of the compasses which represents my 60 degrees. So an arc starting on the line starting slightly below, that doesn't matter, from where it cuts the line, step up one of those steps I did. Now the whole thing was 360, so just one will be 60 degrees. So I have created an angle, one sixth of a circle, which will be 60 degrees. And the next one is an angle of 90 degrees. I could create an angle of 90 degrees simply as I did before by creating a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular means at right angles. But I'm going to create an angle of 90 degrees in a different way. I'm going to use the principle I've just to construct an angle of 90 degrees and the principle, what the two principles I'm going to use are that the compasses will fit into a, a circle six times and each time I draw an arc and step off that will be 60 degrees. I'm going to open my compasses quite a bit bigger this time and see if that gives me more stability. So I'm going to swing a big arc from that corner. I'm going to step off one, which opened a bit too far, didn't it? Right, one, two arcs from that point there. So the first part will be 60 degrees, the second part would take me up to 120 degrees. So. If I then divide those possible 60 and 120, halfway between 60 and 120 is 90. So if I divide those two sections in two, I should get a 90 degree angle. So I've taken arcs from those last two points and where they cross join that to the point where I originally started 
and let's take a corner of paper and see if that's anything like 90 degrees. Quite good enough for me. So at an angle of 90 degrees, by stepping off the 60 degree mark, the 120 degree mark, and then finding the bisector of those two between the 120 and the 60 and join that to my original point. Whoa!